So the entire sequence was actually all filmed on, <laughs> I can't do this. I thought it'd be funny if I shot this intro with, uh, with the Potter glasses. You're a hairy wizard, buddy. I was just too aware that they were on my face. Couldn't do it. Okay, so that entire sequence was all shot completely on the 60 millimeter F2.4 RF lens. And I think it turned out really great because you know, you get that wide angle, but also you get that blurry background with the 2.4 and I think it looks pretty good. So the reason that I uh, picked up this lens was I actually wanted a wide angle lens. The lens that I use now is actually the 24 to 105. It's the F4 to 7.1, I believe. And it's, it's a great lens. I really do like this lens. Except for when I'm shooting in 4K, it does crop in a little bit, but not much. Originally, I actually wanted the 15 to 35. I think it's the F2, 2.1 maybe. Um, I really like these RF lenses. I've actually tried a couple of them, but um, I really want that 15 to 35, but it's just, I just can't bring myself to purchase it. It's actually like three grand. And yeah, I, uh, I don't think I wanna spend that much on a lens yet, cause I'm still so new, right? To YouTube. So what happened is I actually hit an obstacle here. I can't, I want this wide angle lens, can't afford it, can't bring myself to pay for that much for a lens. And then this little guy comes along. This little fella, this cute little guy. The 16 millimeter 2.4, I'm actually shooting on it right now and it's nice. I'm actually shooting in 4K, just kind of want to show you what it looks like with the crop. I usually shoot in 1080 and 4K, depending like how long I feel like my video will be. If it's gonna be a really long video or if I'm vlogging, I usually shoot in 1080 but videos like this, they're not that long. So yeah, I shoot in 4K, but let's switch over to 1080 and then you can kind of see how big the crop is. So that is 1080. And then this here, this is 4K. Then again, this is 1080. And then again, back to 4K. This lens actually did solve my problem because I did want a wide angle lens. I shoot with the Canon R6, if anybody's wondering. And this just solved my problem. You know, boom, bam, Bob's your uncle. There you go. Cause uh, it's pretty cheap. I think it was like $400, $400 or something. And for an RF lens, that's pretty freaking cheap for a wide angle. So I'm pretty happy with this thing so far. Well, sort of. Yo, mine, my beat up hands, they're all just cut right up. Um, I was working with my buddy and every time I work with that guy, my hands just get destroyed. Anyways, I'm a huge fan of the zoom lenses. The 24 to 105 is so great for when I'm like out vlogging or anything like that. You know, you see a couple goose, ge geese out there. What's plural for a mouse? A couple meese? Anyways, you, you see a couple geese way out there or something, you could zoom way in and actually get the shot. Um, with this one, the 16 millimeter, it's actually a prime lens. So that means you can't, it's just 60 millimeters. That's all you can zoom in, nothing like that. So I'm not too stoked on that actually being a prime lens, but you know, it's, it's cheap and it works. It's a wide angle. But another thing that I dislike about it also is the autofocus is a little wonky, like wonky sick word, eh? Sometimes when it works really well um, and you could actually hear it like do, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. But I shot a video about a week ago and the footage just the look looked a little wonky, like it was focusing in and out a couple times. But I think it just has to do with like when your subject is moving too much and I kind of move around a lot. So maybe that's it. And I think 
that has to do with the fact that it actually has an external like autofocus in it. Okay, so as you can see, when it's like close up to my hand, it's auto focused onto there. And then when I go bring it back, it moves. So it's like external autofocus, if that makes sense. It's like moving externally, like you could actually see it autofocusing. If you look at the 24 to 105, this actually has an internal autofocus where you don't see this thing come out, go in and out. That's what she said. When this just goes in and out like this, this is just for the zoom. So the thing with this wide angle lens, the close, well, actually, you know what? With any lens, because even with this 24 to 105, I actually can get away with that blurry background. So I'll kind of show you what I mean. So far back, you could kind of see everything. And then I come up really close and then the background gets nice and blurry. So it even works the same when I use this. All you really have to do is just kind of move your camera further back and get as close as you can to the camera. And you get that blurry background a lot more. Like even if I'm super close with my hand, you can see this part here is all blurry. So there you go. I can focus. Like it works well, it's not horrible or anything. These problems are very minor problems that are easy to look past. Because what I'm doing with this lens is mostly just shooting stuff in my studio, you know? So it's like, I'm not on the go as much with this. And the reason I'm not gonna be on the go with this thing is because I actually have to buy a whole new ND filter for it because of that external autofocus. I wanted to just kind of figure out a way to just put this over top, but it won't work because of that external autofocus will push it out, right? But it's not the end of the world. You can just get a little ND filter, small little baby one. Because for the price, this thing is actually crazy. Like it, it works really well. Like as you can see, the background's blurry the closer I get up to it. And it looks really clear, like it's a great lens. I, those are the only issues that I have personally, is just that external kind of focus and it focuses a little bit slower than this lens actually does, but it is great to have the 2.4. It's not the 2.4, I'm sorry, I keep saying 2.4, I don't know why. It's the 2.8, actually F 2.8, but it's great to have 2.8 on such a small lens. And that's another really great thing about this lens. It's super small, you could just throw it in your bag. Um, I actually just carry it around with me if I do need it, because it's nice for pictures also. I've had this for a little while now too, and I really don't have that many issues with it. Like this whole part that I'm shooting here in this studio has all been shot on the 16 millimeter and I think it looks really good. And all in all, it does fix my problem for wanting a wide angle lens. So the question is, is this my new favorite lens? For in the studio, yes, 100%. But I think for vlogging, I will stick with this one just because of the zoom lens. But I do really want that 15 to 35. One day, one day I'll have it. Just you wait.